What's going on guys? We're gonna check out the Shadow Systems MR920 today. America! What's going on guys? We're here to talk about the MR920 Elite today from Shadow Systems. Shadow Systems is close to our heart because we are in Plano, Texas and so are they. Uh, we actually, back in the day when they were first starting out, used to do a lot of their slide engraving, but they brought all that stuff in house. Um, this is the MR920 Elite. This is the Glock 19 size of the MR920 Elite. And it is about a thousand dollar gun, give or take. And you say to yourself, why would I want a thousand dollar Glock when I could buy a Glock for four and a half or five and a half, let's say is what they're at. Well, you get a lot of features on this. First off, it does have a slide cut so that you can put any of your RMRs or that sort of thing on top of it. There's a mag well in this guy. The grip is a slightly different angle than a Glock. It's actually a little bit more comfortable and easier to shoot. We've got this big dovetail on the back. We've got nice sights on these. This is a set of Trijicon night sights. In the rear, uh, there is, it's just all black. And then in the front, it's the tritium with the green surround. I'm not always a fan of these big dots, but I kind of ran this gun a few shots before uh, we started making this video and it works really well. These are nice height sights. It's hard to say if they're suppressor height. I don't think they really are, but it is a threaded barrel. You've got this uh, titanium nitride coated barrel with the Elite slide. The Elite slide is the slide that has their cutout and, and all the extra serration and so forth. So it's their upper end slide on the gun. The trigger is upgraded. As you can see, it's got a flat trigger in there that shoots really well. Uh, and there's, there's a different uh, trigger guard here with the cutout underneath. So it's really comfortable to grip. All in all, even with my big hands, with the mag well in the bottom and the way the grip is stippled and angled, it's really comfortable to hold this gun. So all in all, before really putting a lot of rounds into it, it's a really comfortable gun. It's got a lot of high-end features, but you're in there at that $1,000 price tag, and you might say that that's expensive, but if you care, compare it to the salience of the world uh, and things like that that are over 2,000 bucks, there's a lot of value in this gun. You kind of get all the high-end features without that ultra high-end price. So we're pretty excited about it. We've got a lot of good reviews from our customers about these. So I'm gonna go ahead and run one and we'll see how it goes. So let's do a quick obligatory unboxing video. So it comes in the logoed box as you would expect. It's gotta have a box of some type. It does come with this nice bag. It's a little range bag that it comes with. It does have some space in there. It's not as cheesy as some of the other ones. It comes with some grip pieces that go in the back. Uh, to change the way that the grip feels. Of course, you get the gun, and we will go over the details of the gun here in just a second. Put that over here on the barrel. Uh, it does come with the obligatory Hillary Commie Lock. You've got uh, some little push pin. This is gonna be to push the pieces off to add your grips on the back. Uh, and there was also a little screw package in here that I have set aside that came with some Loctite, comes with a little bit of Lucas oil. Um, oh, here's the package. Has a little bit of Loctite, has some screws for your different plates on the back and that sort of thing. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it does come with a lot of nice stuff in the package compared to what you would normally get, especially with the nice little bag. So good value there. All right, these guys come with some little Magpul P-Mag 15 round. Uh, it is the, the Glock 19 length, so that's a 15 round length. So we're gonna put some rounds down range and see how we like it. All right, let's just pick a target. I'm gonna start with uh, the second one from the left. Dead in the middle, so that's right under the sight, straight out of the box. It's a great shooter. I'm not, uh, I'm probably, I don't know, 10 yards out maybe. Yeah, and it's hitting perfectly without me really spending a lot of effort trying to put rounds into it. I'm gonna kind of choke my grip up, get a little bit better grip on it. 
Yeah, I see it hits exactly where I want to put it. I'm going to put it somewhere close to the center of this one. Yeah, a little bit high. That was low and left. That wasn't so great. There we go. Yeah, put it right back on it where we wanted it before. Uh, let's take one of the little ones for fun. Yeah, no problem hitting that. Oh, right next to each other. Yep, so there we go. 15 rounds out, pretty solid. Uh, let's try it from a little bit different distance. So let's try, I'm probably about uh, 17 or 18 yards out from the uh, front targets there. that are the hex shaped ones and then it's probably about 20 to the back. So let's uh, take a couple shots. I'm gonna try to ride those front ones. Being a little further out, uh, it's a little harder to hit at this distance. So we'll see how this gun does. It was perfect a little closer in. So here we go. That was a little low. Oh, that's good. Yep. Yep. Oh, that was a miss. Look at that. Oh, dead center. That's good. A little bit off the left. Oh, that was a miss. That sucks. There you go. Upper right. See, I'm not concentrating enough to really just drive them home where I want. But it's doing pretty good. There you go. Not a lot of misses. That was a miss. There it goes. Pretty solid. Most of that missing would have been because of me just going too fast or not getting good sight picture. So all in all, I would say that it is a shooter at that distance too. So it's certainly a handgun that's going to be you know great for home defense or just a even a really good shooter. It it does shoot better uh, than say an out of the box Glock or something like that. It's probably attributable to the barrel a little bit tighter fittings and that kind of thing. So the gun, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with. All right, guys, we're going to do a little bit of a fun shoot here, just shoot some different targets for giggles, uh, just to see what we think about the last few shots with the gun and uh, see how it goes. There it goes. That was good. That was a miss. Yep, there we go. That was a good time. Well, that was a good time, guys. I have to say I'm really happy with the way this thing shoots. Uh, of the videos that we've done, it's one of the better shooters that we've run. It's certainly worth $1,000. It does shoot better than a Glock. And once we picked them up, we, we've got a bunch of them now. You can always check out our website or that kind of thing. We carry the full line now. But I'm glad to see that it's something I can really believe in because I'm really happy with this. It does have a steel guide rod. You can get threaded barrels. There's just a lot of features on this gun that you don't have just in a factory Glock. And really, if you were going to go and get all this work done to have it upgraded, it would be a lot more money than this. So I think there's a lot of value in this package. I think it's a great little shooter, and I'm really happy with it. So I would suggest to anybody, if you're thinking about this type of gun, I might even skip over the Glock and go straight to getting a Shadow Systems gun. Uh, I'm happy with it, and I think you probably will be too. So go check one out. We can, uh, you can rent them at our range when our range is open here pretty quick. Uh, you can test it out, see if you like it for yourself. But other than that, man, remember the, uh, the gun world is a family, and uh, everybody be cool to each other.